guys, so today I've got some interesting uh, things to talk about. So I want to mention Regimen Labs. They changed their wave serum recently, uh, and their discussion of their new changes are kind of interesting. So I thought I'd talk about it, and let me... So this is their original wave serum, which I've been using. Repurchased it, actually, and do like it. It's really nice. It works really nicely. Um, works really nicely under their cream. That's where it really shines. When you apply this right under this cream, it is so hydrating. So there's their uh, original Wave Serum. And then here is their new one, which I love their new packaging, I have to mention. Their new one. So I've been testing these on different sides of my faces. And I will say the new Wave Serum is really nice. It's really hydrating. And they discussed their formula and the way they came up with this. So they start out, I'm ecstatic to introduce you to you all to Wave 2.0. This product, will, this this article will walk you through the events that participate, we per, that precipitated the update, and we'll also talk about the formulation process itself. So, in December of 2021, they tested 10 Holy Grail hydration serums, and interestingly, uh, the change in hydration is measured on this chart. I'll try and link to this below. Um, and the one that actually did the best was the most affordable one on the market, which is interesting, very interesting. So, when you think about price doesn't necessarily mean much when the most affordable product is also the one that did the best. And they don't mention which one it is because they don't probably want to talk trash about the ones that didn't do so good, which are more expensive, which I get. So uh, they, they mention uh, number six was the cheapest product, which is the one that did the best. Uh, some hydration serums didn't do anything or worse. One even dehydrated the skin, um, which was interesting. So then they mention after application, the change in hydration and their Wave 1.0 did pretty good, but they mentioned what prompted the changes to their serum. They said after a micro celebration lab, we were curious on how other humectants performed against each other. We kept hearing how it holds a bazillion times more water than hyaluronic acid or it hydrates forever and ever. And they mention uh, certain ingredients like hyaluronic acid really aren't as exciting as they seem. So... They mentioned glycerin. It's a really good humectant, a really good hydrating green. I actually just buy generic glycerin at Walmart, and sometimes I'll dump it in my bath a little bit. It's like three bucks. Glycerin's great. They mentioned acetamethyl hexaethanol, which is a new ingredient. Uh, they had very low expectations for its performance. However, they were very speechless. They thought it was a mistake that it surpassed uh, the performance of glycerin. They quadruply checked it and it's definitely what they call the new gold standard so this might be an exciting ingredient worth everyone checking out especially after all the research they did um, then they mentioned some other backup hydrating ingredients betaine lactic acid hydrovans propandolol and depanthenol um, which are great even they work even better when they're worked in uh, combined with glycerin and then they mentioned disappointment of the year hyaluronic acid this one was hard to swallow. Wave 1.0 main selling point was the multi-molecular weight hyaluronic acid. You get low molecular weight, high molecular weight, and they penetrate differently. Um, so in all, hyaluronic acid dehydrated the skin from what they found. Uh, the one with the least negative effect was the uh, 1DM, the acetamethanol. And uh, anyway, all hyaluronic acids dehydrated the skin. So... That is interesting. When they finished anal analyzing the results, they remember screaming, ah, because this means we have to update the wave because the main selling point was the hyaluronic acid low and high molecular weights. So now their new formula features their new kit on the block, which is really exciting. And they've changed a little bit, so it's really worth uh, checking out. But I think hyaluronic acid's time is up, I hope. Maybe. We'll see. Maybe, uh, maybe this formula should... Uh, be one that people try, especially if you're not a big fan of hyaluronic acid or have issues with it. I think it's well worth checking out their new product, and I'm really happy. I mean, I've been testing them both now on each one side of my face and really impressed with it. So anyway, hopefully this new exciting ingredient starts to show up more often. More brands do some research on what they think hyaluronic acid's goals are. Are. And then the other thing to learn out of this is cheap doesn't necessarily mean bad. The one that did the best hydrating of the skin was the one that was the cheapest. So those are the big lessons. Done with hyaluronic acid, done with expensive products. It doesn't necessarily equate quality. So anyway, those are worth checking out. Love Regimen Labs, other stuff. They're all fragrance free. Um, their Vitamin X is great. Level Serum is great. 
and hyaluronic acid is hopefully over. Maybe no beta glucan can replace it or this other new ingredient that I'm going to have to learn how to pronounce, hopefully. So anyway, random thoughts today. Interested in hearing you guys' thoughts on it. Uh, leave a comment. Love hearing from you and stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye guys.